Hi everyone, welcome to Kiel in Germany. This morning I bring you another exclusive access as German shipbuilder ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems is taking us on a tour of their submarine production facility here in Kiel. They recently uh, conducted a massive upgrade of the, of the shipyard and to support current and future programs. So without further ado, let's get inside and take a look. Philip Schoen, good morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for welcoming us uh, in your shipyard. That's uh, very uh, an exclusive access, so I appreciate it. Uh, you're the head of uh, sales for submarines at ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems. Can you please first briefly introduce uh, the, 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 the shipyard here in Kiel? All right. We are sitting here in, in the shipyard in Kiel of ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems, a company of around 8,000 employees. This is the pinnacle of our submarine uh, building sites. We produce here around about two to three submarines per year, which are uh, leaving the shipyard. We are actually standing here on the terrace of our new shipbuilding hall, where we're going to show you later on the production facilities that we have built up. And uh, this is a historical site because uh, it's been producing submarines since the late 1800s, is that, is that right? Yes, we have been building here under different brand names, uh, submarines since over 180 years. Um, all in all, since the Second World War, we have been producing 170 submarines delivered to customers all over the world. So as you mentioned, we are standing on top of the new shipbuilding hall, so uh, the shipyard has been going through uh, some extensive uh, modernization and upgrade. Uh, why is that? Is it uh, related to the Type 212 CD program of the Royal Norwegian Navy and uh, German Navy? It's a mix and match of a lot of influences that have been faced by the yard. We have been modernizing uh, engineering production sites. We wanted to be able to utilize what technology provides us, to be able to faster produce the vessels, to have them up to a state of the art. Um, also maintaining factors like uh, cyber security into these things, but also to factor in uh, pr production facilities for bigger boats as the 212 CD is of a size that is unprecedented. And uh, also second customers uh, had given us an order for building submarines which are even, even bigger. So the, the, the submarines are getting bigger and more complex and yes, you can uh, produce them faster thanks to this facility. Exactly. We, we still have the old facilities, but we do not get uh, the number of boats in there like before. Um, we have changed the production methods and methodologies. We have a stronger interface in between engineering and production. So this gives us a real uh, edge on producing state-of-the-art, uh, less um, time-consuming and in a better quality. Uh, what's the most uh, challenging for you in terms of uh, submarine uh, production? Uh, is it like uh, in the rest of Europe and even in the US uh, relating to supply chains and, and human resources? I think we are lucky here um, that we can, can uh, source the employees that we need. We have been building up uh, additional employees over the course of the last year even during the crisis. So uh, we feel that we are an attractive uh, employer and uh, the same goes for the supply chain. Yes, there are challenges in supply chain management, but we have a partnership with most of our suppliers uh, so that we can scale up and down uh, these, these efforts. Uh, you are currently uh, involved in a competition in the Netherlands for the replacement of the world-class uh, submarines for the Royal Netherlands Navy, uh, in your opinion, why uh, is the Type 212 CDE the right, uh, the right answer for the Netherlands? I think that what really sets us apart is, is on the one hand the delivery time. We would be adding a customized effect to an existing class which just went through CDR. So we have already consumed the first two years of the program and now adding on additional customers with uh, adaptations which might set them apart from uh, what the capabilities are that are already embedded in the design is easy and very time effective. So we could deliver uh, somewhere in 2031, uh, which is from my perspective a must-have if I look at the fleets that are running there. Second factor for me is 
Um, we have been monitoring many customers who have been looking at extremely customized boats, individualization. Uh, these so-called orphan designs are running into problems when it comes to obsolescence and maintenance over the longer period. We can now offer with Norway and Germany partnering navies, uh, so the entire fleet would be at least 10 boats. This gives an incentive to industry and by the way I include also the Netherlands industry there um, to, to keep availability of, of parts that are necessary there. There's also synergies in between the navies that can run these boats and these are effects that, that really sets us apart independent from all these technological advancements uh, like stealth and, and uh, things like that. Uh, my last uh, question, Philip, uh, is about uh, production uh, capacities. Uh, so, should you receive uh, the order from the Netherlands and maybe down the road uh, more submarine orders? Uh, can you easily ramp up production thanks to your new uh, upgrades here at the shipyard? Yes, we can ramp up. We have uh, bought a second shipyard dedicatedly for submarine production because we are also talking to other customers who would uh, require production facilities. In the case of the Netherlands, uh, we at least plan to, to have a stronghold in the Netherlands with a production partner there. And uh, we would run into these collaboration uh, phases where we would see that there are synergies to be brought into the place. Not necessarily uh, really necessary bringing up uh, capabilities here in the yard. So what we have here is sufficient for four more boats, definitely. Um, if we even need these capacities, it's a question depending on the uh, local partners. Philippe, again, thank you very much for your warm uh, welcome here at your uh, upgraded uh, submarine production facility. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day at the shipyard. Holger Hisbrecht, good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you, Xavier. You are the head of the... Netherlands uh, submarine replacement program uh, at uh, TKMS. So we are now inside one of the halls in the new uh, shipbuilding facility. Uh, how many halls are in uh, total in this new production facility? So we have altogether seven uh, construction halls and uh, this enables us to work on 11 sections in parallel. And this way we are able to really uh, reduce and speed up our construction uh, capacity up to uh, 20%. This includes also the new technologies, digital shipyard, um, augmented uh, reality. Maybe we can uh, go up and uh, I'll show you a little bit. Well, let's, uh, let's go and take a, take a look, Holger. The shipbuilders at uh, ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems are also using augmented reality to streamline their production processes. I am now standing inside a test module from a 214 uh, submarine and with the augmented reality uh, glasses and technology I can see uh, equipment inside the pressure hall so the shipbuilders are using this again to make sure that uh, equipments are placed according to plan, they can check the progress on the shipbuilding uh, schedule and they also can check and to make sure that the pressure hole is uh, assembled according to, to plan and all these combine uh, again that's an important element in streamlining helping uh, speed up their uh, production uh, processes. Mm -hmm. 